Hana a day. What's popping? Good morning. Uh, I promised you guys this live last night. But I walked you late and I was too still too, too I couldn't man if you come to do live around two, three in the morning. So I just chill. Watch one film with my wife. Sleep go. You know. Now I want you people to remember something. You know, because we must always be historical. It is important. So you don't go around making the same mistake. And right. As we want to start this video, I'll tell you now straight up. Everybody get the right to choose who you want to choose to rule them. And as a Nigerian, everybody has a right to criticize anybody that bring themselves forward to be my president. Once you bring yourself forward to be my president, I have the right to intellectually, criticize, critically look at you and deliver my honest opinion without fear or favor and that's not my style nobody can change it and i don't they hide i don't hide i know they type around i know they, i don't hide i don't hide yeah man because what will happen tunde had not called me yesterday <laughs> that boy is a crazy boy I, I'm telling you, soon they will tell you my spirit. Me and I get in, in make what you know, he use me in, in, in for your own personal interest. We cost me and I to get one kind. He call me, ask him. We immediately squash. I tell him, just don't do that kind of thing. You know, me, I call me if you want. And he calls me, we talk. There's, I know they hide. Let me just tell you. I'm here telling you what I'm telling you with my full chest. I'm waiting at the time to tell him, I'll be you know, before I go on, my point is that me, ma, I'm happy with the energy right now. That is by using to we will take engage our politics. I'm happy with the energy. We will take the engage our politics. Many people are afraid of the energy. We will take the engage our politics now. Now, the only thing what we need to do is not to think that this one we are doing, typing online, is what we need to do. Putting a president there is not all we need to do. That's my point. We have so much work after. Vote for whoever you want to vote for. If you like, say, no vote. I'm not in this. You don't see me for anywhere before. Go and get your PVC. Yeah, yeah. You are a citizen, an adult. I can only share my opinion and if you relate with you and you agree, I, can, I won't carry cane and come your house. Ne? Say I won't carry cane and come your house. What it concern me and you? Do what you want to do. But me, I'm telling those that are interested because many of you are not interested. This is a cloud chasing. This is what is cool right now. You understand? Being politically engaged is what is cool right now. Like during NSAS, protesting was cool. You understand? This is the cage of cool. You know? Everybody is trapped in the cage of cool. Not, not me, sure. Not like even uh, what would be his name, Moody, the fashion designer. You know, I don't know the business women and get. I saw you see me for events. You say, Ashley, you should be dressing better than this. And what you consign grown man with which another grown man they wear? I don't, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> so, I don't understand, you know. So everybody has, you know. I mean, I I don't like looking fresh. Nigeria is not a fresh country. If all of us are looking fresh and nice, how will Tedo say we suffer? Who, who is representing the suffering of Nigeria? When people look at me most times, I want to think that Nigeria is bad. This country, we are suffering. But if they look all of now online, which is not pa how can you be living in a poor country and be packaging? Eh? How can you be living in a poor country and be trying to look fly and rich and you are poor? It's all these things I'm talking about. You have to let go of all this fakeness. Embrace the realness. Forget fakeness. Be I'm the way I am because this country is the way it is. I tell if everybody is looking fresh, how will we know we are suffering? How will we know if people look at us? Say our helper won't help us now. 
Say that they've suffered for one place. He called Richard. He called look our because he never feel called. Say, ah, Nigerians are suffering. Let me even go on Instagram and see. Let me look at the Nigerians and see they are suffering. Everybody is looking fresh, fly, wearing the best clothes. Ah, because say, these people are not suffering. These, these people, these, <laughs> these people, these people are not suffering. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you talk. So I'm trying to help the people. I'm helping the people, you know, to let me show. So in case our help I see me, when our help I see me, you will just say, ah, these people need help. They need help, <laughs> you know. So this is my point. Don't lose yourself in this favor. Not many of you are just doing this because you are cool. That's why answers. I tell you, answers is not going to lead to anything. Now, what has it led to? Poor people die. The only gain from answers is that lucky people don't pay toll gate anymore. No more toll gate for them to pay. They are going home and coming. They have used the poor people's life <laughs> to open the toll gate for themselves. You know, and I told they don't think I come out for the people from that. It is an elite. It was an elitist package, packaged by elites, run in an elitist way. The uh, grassroots was not carried along. And the problem, the the, so the the issues did not touch the solutions. And the issues did not uh, did not touch the problems that we are even talking about. You understand? So what we what we've gained is free passage to Lekki. I get friends for Lekki, so sometimes when I go to, I'm happy to pass the free toll gate. I'm not complaining. No, keep the toll gate open and free, or else we we'll do all the other ass. <laughs> you, know, you. Know. So yeah, that's the point. That's the point. That's the point I'm trying to make. Don't lose focus trying to be cool. So a lot of you that are not doing it to be cool. When I want to really get genuine, say, okay, fine, we are in this. Vote your vote. Go wherever you want to go for. Do whatever you want to do, but let's keep this energy after the election. Knowing fully well that we don't have a messiah. Nobody is, nobody is fixing anything. We don't make mistakes. In the last three years, young people were shouting that they want a young president. We are tired of all these people. We want young president. Want, even though me had to tell him at that time, say, ah, young people, there's not something as young. Let's look for a good president. Let's not do ageism. Nothing like, say, old people, young people. Nations are built by the experience of the old and the energy of the young. Let's come together. Let's not discard all our old people. Let's work together. But young people insist. And we want young president. But due to lack of organization, due to a lack of your organization among yourself, you know, if you emerge, there was no youth president that could emerge. You couldn't emerge anybody, you know, because you did not organize. Now you are all gathering around the same old people that you were castigating just two years ago, that you don't want to see them. Castigating them 18 months ago. Uh, not too young to run. Uh, youth president. Uh, other ones sweep under the carpet now. It's, it's under the carpet. We are all lining up behind the same people that have destroyed everything in this country. So no problem. Listen. We drop the ball. It's not too late still. We are still alive. We still get energy. We are still here. We are still the people of this country. Moving forward, after this one, what will they do so? Even as we are doing it, we should still be looking at the future. Looking at how we want to now move this politics to the side that we want. That's the point. To the side that we want. And I, I cannot come as I can criticize, I can say anything. I didn't call it if Peter will be, which I'll talk about that. If in spokesperson come outside, talk to me, I'll answer. He has the right. But people will not be Peter will be spokesperson if you talk rubbish. Actually, if I know you, I go hammer you. Because Peter will be is not your dad. I didn't talk to your dad. I didn't talk to your mom. I didn't talk to your family. I didn't talk to you. You won't form spokesperson. Are you the official spokesman of the Peter will be campaign? I don't understand. So if you want to go there, let's go there. I'm here all day, nine to five. Let's do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's the point. We all have a right to our political opinions. We all have a right to our political opinions. Nobody can silence my political. In fact, my own family in particular, we have given too much for this country, for anybody to think that they can now silence my political opinion. Because they want to support Peter Obi today. 2015, they were playing for Buhari's inauguration. I've been not be there Peace Corps a day 2015. They jump up and down. They do break dance. Not be there. Now today, they are on Peter Obi. Tomorrow, who knows? And just like the Peter Obi, first in Abga, 
then to PDP, now in LP. That is inconsistency. And me, inconsistency in a red flag. So that means you don't get ideology. Peter Obi, as you people say all the time, is a multi-billionaire. So you don't be billionaire before you even become governor. So he's a man that knows how to plan. He's a man that knows how to do feasibility studies. He's a man that knows how to do feasibility studies. So in ideology, before you enter anything, you go look, say, ah, does this match my, as a grown man, as I said, you know, everybody can make, I don't criticize young people for doing, for being young. But when we don't pass certain age, you have to take responsibility for the things you do. You can't just be explaining things away. Uh -uh. You have to take, you have to accept one. You have to accept. You don't see any, can Obama, can Obama leave a uh, republic? Okay, Bernie Sanders. Let's look at a, a politician in America like Bernie Sanders. Let's talk about Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, to most people in this world, should be the president of America today. Bernie Sanders should be the president of America today. In 2016, he ran against, um, what was he called? Hillary Clinton for his party's ticket. His party sabotaged him. I know the life on I'm going to go look the record. I'm going to go check the history. This is the recent history. We must learn these things. We must know these things. We know if just the politics not be such a way because they do like idiots. Bernie Sanders. Many people believe should be the president of the United States of America today. When Bernie Sanders ran in 2016 against Hillary for his party's ticket, his party sabotaged him. In fact, the uh, Podesta files, this was called the Podesta files. Go and check it. It was released. How the party was planning behind his back to sabotage his candidacy. Uh, to sabotage him emerging as a candidate of that party because they preferred Hillary Clinton. Who was, not going to, who was going to continue with the establishment, continue with the status quo. Bernie Sanders was preaching wholesale socialist change in America, and the people were supporting him. He had a huge support, big crowds, bigger than Hillary Clinton. But the party engineered it in 2016. He lost. Hillary Clinton went on to lose the election to Trump. Fast forward to 2020. Even bigger support for this man, man. The party did not have anybody to run against him anymore. They went to go and bring Joe Biden. They went to go and bring Joe Biden. And use the black vote because Joe Biden was Obama's vice. They used the black vote from South Carolina and all those others. Carol, uh, this person come up from inside the candidacy again. Bernie Sanders. Did that make Bernie Sanders leave Democratic Party and jump to Republican Party? Why didn't he leave a, a Democratic Party and jump to Republican Party or go and form another party? Do you think America only has two parties? America has the Libertarian Party. America has the Green Party. Many parties are in America, but there are only two major parties that people talk about. Why you no know, come out for in party, go for Green Party? That is a bit like the Democrats. Why didn't he go there and say because they because you don't you stay consistent in your political ideology? If you if you, immediately he does that in a country like that where people are politically astute, they will write him off for life, for life. Ni go check that Nigerian uh, polit uh, politician for England. What's his name? That Igbo boy. Hey, I've forgotten his name. Oh, oh my God! There was this big Nigerian politician boy in uh, UK. People are even saying that that he could go on to become prime minister. That's why he go back come up for conservative party, go enter a uh, liberal democrat. End of it, he won't go do Nigerian style politics for London. He don't win for a party. He can't come there. He can't join another party. That was the end of him. That was the end of him. Nobody even talks about him again. You go, he, they flip up up and down. You they jump up and that means you have no political ideology. And Nigeria needs a polit someone with strong political ideology my point to nigerian people is i'm not against whoever you choose choose who you want but until you take the power by yourself it is we're not joking presidency when we are ready the election that we, we will do hmm? we as the people of this country the real people not these rich motherfuckers that are destroying this country that are benefiting from your suffering not this i'm not talking about them i'm talking about you 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 when you are ready Hmm? To take your destiny into your own hands. We're not going to look, not be only, 
not be president people will talk about. We will have thousands of candidates all over the country, electrifying this country in different zones. You understand what I'm saying? We don't organize, we don't start to organize three, four years before the next election. We don't get three, three of our agents from our party in all the uh, 774 local government of this country, sensitizing the people, letting them know we are coming, training them, teaching them, elevating their consciousness, explaining the world to them. Because whether you like it or not, over 60% of this country is still not properly educated. They don't even know what they are living in. They are just existing under suffering, under oppression. With our eye don't open, now we will go open their eye. That's why ancestors open our eye. Ancestors do not open your eye so you can become 419, so you can become gambler, so you can become drug dealer, so you can be uh, chasing... No! That's not why the ancestors open your eye. They open your eye so you can open your brother's eye. Do you think elections are won in the cities? Do you think we win elections are won in Lagos? You see, now Lagos votes, they win elections. How many cities are in Nigeria? How many people are online in Nigeria? My brother, I go Oza. Oza now for Edo State. Edo State now big state. Edo State now one of our big states. Don't you not be Bush State now? Uh -uh. My Edo people. We Edo, how far now? How we they? Edo State that they talk. I go Oza. I no Oza for on our side. Internet, no, they work there. Only ETE. If you look at ETE. And without ETE, before you go see 3G. Or more. Ha. <laughs> Before you go see 3G, before you go see 3G, you go hear when. So all this what they do for internet, we are doing it for ourselves. Now we are talking, we, we are, you don't start, we are talking to ourselves. Nigeria is not online, bro. Majority of Nigerians are not online. Trust me, how many Nigerians have access to internet? <laughs> is it, what, how many percent of Nigerians, they say have access, uh, less than 40% or something? Internet coverage in this country, Nigerians, 40%. How many people feel even afford data? What are people saying? You are not on ground, man. You are online. Online is nothing. We have to be on ground. When we are ready, we'll be on ground. Three agents in each of the several and four local governments, understanding them, bringing their news to the party headquarters, party agents, sending them back to the world. We are all coordinating, sending information to the uh, people in the rural area, elevating their consciousness, letting them know what we are coming with. They go even collect money from these people, still no vote for them. Waiting, they waiting be money, waiting, share the money, they make them votes. Please. But that's my point. So when I make my political observation, is my political observation it has nothing to do with anybody i'm not throwing shit at anybody it's what i've seen but these uh, people online you all behave like trump supporters i'm sorry to say you behave like trump supporters when somebody will come with political argument when your um uh, uh, self-appointed spokesman mr p square uh, why didn't he say oh show you are lying let's meet for political debates why not call me out for political debate? Let's discuss it, political debate, and elevate the consciousness of our followers. Instead, they begin to throw shade online. They say, your father, they mention my nephew. They use my family, they talk to me. In they crazy me. He said, our family, like your own family, where they disgrace themselves online, they fight, they throw, they, they use my own father. And my cousin. Why you not use your own nephew talk to me? I'll be your own brother. Why you not, you, you know, are you not proud of yourself? I don't disgrace on our own family online finish. Yabiabu na self, troll na self, anyhow, because of money, senior brother, twins, brothers, everybody insult in my life, throw everything. They're not using my own family to talk to me. That Made is well behaved. Eh? Why did you two copy Made when you are disgracing yourself with your brother? Eh? Bugu. <laughs> After you have played for Buhari in 2015. You think they no come? You say no reach out to us too for all those all those time, but we not to say no. We not to say no. Not be everything with the job. And in this country, let me tell you people something. In this country, until we two are ready as a people to sacrifice the things with the job. Now that thing, they everything we want job, then they focus up, then they diminish us. We as Nigerian people must be able to say no to some things. You go pain. You go see your you go see your guys they fled you go see that they do big things with this because then they say no but you go all yourself because you're a man you're a human being you're a woman you're a human being you are strong at heart you're an african person you see what you need to do you see your institution of your country suffer small so that your children can enjoy 
Now my papa teach me that one. My partner only one house he build. Fella, na one house he get for this Lagos. All our money here, now people my party can take care of. My pa, every day, we have over 300 people living in our house. Every day, fella give everybody allowance, and every week, he give everybody salary. Whether you work or you no work. Over 300 people in Kalakuta, another maybe 500 in Shrine. And you know they talk to government people, you know they talk to business people, you play only in show for Shrine. Any small money we make, you share it with his people. That my that's the heart of a man that loves his people. He teach me how to say no to some things. The small way I get, I keep up. It's okay for me. I don't need anything from anybody. You cannot go to any big man office and see proposal from Shionkuti. You cannot go to any company in this country today. We don't say Shionkuti write proposal, come give us. See, they, they want me to sponsor. Propose for waiting. Go and bank out. What do you want to write proposal to bank for? We bank never doing job. What did they teach people money? They charge us on a stamp duty. Is that the money I want to take from? I know how to say no. Any bo I go talk no. I can only work with companies that have nothing to do with the running of our country. Maybe a poor company, you know? Yeah. What else? Yeah, maybe only a poor company. So if I'm not thinking well, I'm not really looking, but yeah. Maybe milk companies. Uh, NGOs that are really genuinely and revolutionary. We won't really bring change. Yeah, I work with play, but I will never work with people that are destroying this country for nothing. That's what they won't give me. Nothing. I know the right proposal I give them. I know the right proposal. I know be Mugu. I know be like you, Mr. Peter, where they tell people free bid, where they teach them they gamble. That's why the guy don't like me. And I don't know say now because I attack gambling. The vice that they are bringing to destroy your mind as a young person in this country. Let's say that everything where they say make you do, now you go do, is only African people that think freedom is the right to do anything we like. I repeat, it's only African people that think freedom is the right to do anything you like. So all we do is anything we like. Eh, eh, gambling is legal, so I have to do it. Because you don't, you don't see that. Eh? Why? The people that told you that gambling is legal, which good thing have they ever given you? The people that have brought gambling to you that it is legal, you should be doing it. Which good thing have they, have they ever given to you? Before you so think your head, they say it's legal. Think your head. The same people that tell you it's legal can't give you good school, can't give you good road, can't give you health care, can't pay you good wages, can't send you, can't give you good environment, can't give you light, can't give you water. But they can give you gambling everywhere, gambling everywhere. They say, you can do free bid. Come take 20 naira, win, win flat screen TV. You see, everything we used to take advantage of our people because you know they cannot afford flat screen TV. Because you know they cannot afford generator. Hmm? How many of your family is playing free bid with you? Because they can afford it. So you take poor people for a ride. Just like all these pastors, where they go see they and they go the yeah, pastor. The same pastor will tell you, say, bring waters or let God give you one million miracle. Seriously. He's sowing a free bid is nothing more than sow seed. <laughs> so poor people now are taking for a ride. You go pack all their money, pack all their money, come find one winner. Mm -hmm. TV of a uh, of a uh, hundred thousand. You go not take people money, we don't reach five million for the TV. Call give one person one TV. Mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. say you don't win. You are doing good. And you lira da rada. And you li. So, what are you people telling me? Now, let me tell you the topic. This is Obasan just game. All this suffering you are seeing outside here. This Obasan just game. You must be historical to know what's going on in this country. Why do politicians always run to Obasan job? You must know why. You must know why. I'll give you, first I'll start with the story. Some years ago, Obasanjo refused to give Adenuga his uh, telecommunications license. I mean, I will tell you the secret behind it. Because Obasanjo was afraid to empower IBB with his own telecommunications company. Whether you like it or not, 
the highest shareholder the last time we checked of uh, Glow, according to the was Ibrahim Babangida. So Ibrahim Babangida is involved. Babangida is involved. So it was their fight. And Adenuga was close to the Aujale of Ijebu land. You know, one of the most scholarly, one of the most scholarly royals we have in this country. It's the only uh, royal that I have some respect for. Not because he's a royal, but because of his intellectual capacity as a human being, as a man. And his integrity. So he is, he is a man that, to a certain extent, more than all these Oni and all these other people, he, he comports himself with a certain integrity, which I also respect. Now, Abu Jale wrote in his book in support of his friend that Obasanjo is the owner of uh, Dangote's cement plant in Abeokuta. It was in his book talking about how Obasanjo was using all Nigeria's money, laundering Nigeria's money through many of these billionaires. Obasanjo did not sue him for libel. Dangote did not swim for libel. So I have to accept that what he wrote in the book is true. So now, I want you to understand that in 1999, Obasanjo's neoliberal policies, eh, the plans Obasanjo made in this country, in our, with our economic, our economy, privatizing, Obasanjo gave everything Nigeria had to all these people, Dango Tenio, Elumelu Nio, Adenuga Nio, Otedolani, all these people, he shall pack all Nigeria, he pack and give them for free. Well, of course, taking his own court. You understand? Of course, nobody be Mugu, we all know what's going on. At least Aujali has said that much. <laughs> <laughs> now, he controls many of the oil marketers, the bankers, all these people, are his, but he made them so this is why politicians run to him. When he endorses you, this man starts to send checks. They are his boys. They do what he says. Please rewind yourself to 2015. Be historical, my Nigerian people. Be historical. Always remember. Because it is yourself. When you remember, it is yourself. Because you are there. Don't shortchange yourself. You are there. In 2015, before the election, this is exactly how Nigeria was. Except the, this currency is the new one. This currency is new. To see. To see. I have to clap for this currency one. It is new. But just, just like this now, Nigeria was almost shutting down. Because Obasanjo then, if you remember very well, who did he uh, endorse? He endorsed the opposition, which was APC. He wrote open. That being said, all Nigerians were fed up of Jonathan, to be honest. But anyway, he supported APC. And suddenly, everything in Nigeria started to shut down. Because that's what they do. This is the elite of Nigeria trying to force the election. And me, I don't mind. But you must know, not for this election, but for future participation. Except you are not interested in future participation. For future participation, you must know how these people are willing to mortgage us for power. You must see how they are willing to put us through hardship. Up until today, has Buhari come outside to explain to Nigerians what is happening? As the president of this country, look at what is going on in this country right now. Look at what is going on in this country. Has the president come to say anything to us, the Nigerian people? Opulo, state of the nation, because this is this is what is going on. They won't say anything. Because you know why? They know what is happening. They all know what is happening. So instead of going to talk to us and tell us what we are going through, they are busy making arrangements and deals among themselves. They are busy making offering themselves more and more. This, this is where in personal interest colludes with national interest, destroying our future. They are all right now, instead of telling us what is going on. Bringing people to book, arresting them, sending them to jail. No. That deal they're going to take and they do. So this is about just game. That's always been his game. That's why they all run to him. Everybody will run to him. What he offered Nigeria, tell me. What he did for Nigeria, tell me.
How many people have Obasanjo's picture in their house? Raise up your hand if you have Obasanjo's picture in your house. Raise up your hand. Do you have Obasanjo's picture in your house? I'm sure you don't. So when Obasanjo is endorsing a candidate, who is he endorsing the candidate for? Because I know that young Nigerians are not listening to him. He's not influencing any Nigerian professional. Nobody loves him like that. No Nigerian loves Obasanjo like that, I'm sorry. So it is the elite. It's their game. He made them. He is their lever. He tells them where to go, where to do, how to jump, how high. That's why they all run to him. Then they start to do this, all this rubbish. They will stop selling petrol. They will stop doing this one. Everybody will be suffering. Why must you always mortgage us? I will, not, I will never suffer rich. Even if there was petrol. You know, I always say to people, even if there's petrol, even if there's petrol, even if there's money, we are still suffering. The suffering we are suffering is high, is hard. You know, cost is hard more. I don't understand it. Now, pure wickedness. You know, they take the petrol, they. We, anyway, now, to end this life. I'm going to tell you, people, I'm going to tell you some two things. Waiting the elite of this country want is what I call the perfection of oppression. What the elites of this country want, and there are celebrities where they sing for their inauguration, where they do their adverts, the journalists where they write for them, their bankers, when they launder for them, all these people, what they really want is a perfection of oppression. So they are against people like me. Because what we want is a total elimination of oppression. You understand? So you go see them for their contradictions. Musicians, when they talk about NSAS, where they use police escorts. Are you crazy? Which one is it? You say answers that police is brutalizing the people, but you go, you get police escorts where you say they brutalize the people. If your fans come near you, you will carry for Koboko. That is a contradiction. You cannot liberate yourself in contradictions. We must resolve contradictions. So if you don't dare conscious enough to know, say, answers, police is bad for the people, and I am on the side of the people, why you get police next to you against the people? You can't use the police now against the people. Your so-called fans, one near you, you go see me police, they flog them, they shoot, go for all people, they run. But you at the same time say you're on the side of the people and you they against answers. Those are contradictions. And I see contradictions in the behavior of all our all the three major candidates in Tinubu's behavior in articulate. And I can call it out. I have to call it out. They say, Shane, why don't you talk about why you talking about Atiku and Tinubu? Why not Tinubu? What, what do I have to say about Tinubu? If you don't know that Tinubu and Atiku should be cast away, then I'm sorry, we are you're not yet in I'm not yet I, I can't discuss with you. Anybody that doesn't know that they should not vote for Atiku or Tinubu, I say for sure. If you don't know that, I'm sorry. I can't even discuss with you. Because your whole your problem is different. Problem, <laughs> your whole problem is uh, uh, what I it, uh, that follow come. Your problem that follow come. He passed my remedy. I, I cannot help that kind of problem. Is not is he passed my political consciousness? I have to let you be the one that is bamboozling people. That people might be mistaking. I can talk about that so you understand. Ah, no go, go. You don't inform Muguyeo. No go for you. Even if you go. So GRI, no, you still have work to do. No, you still have work to do. So the perfection of oppression, what does that mean? What do you mean when I say perfection of oppression? Rewind yourself to like 2003, 2004. You know, government is paying salary. Fuel is cheap. 
Naira is strong. Everybody's partying, enjoying themselves. Before you talk, and say, "Hey, Nigeria is going forward." You see, this is what this is what is this is what is destroying the country. The facts say some people where they benefit now no benefit again. You don't they touch them. There are one million naira, the, the five million naira where they give them before, where they will go change, where they will collect twenty thousand dollar. That five million naira now is less than ten thousand dollar. They don't figure they buga again. If they touch them, you don't understand. Now they are complaining. Salary is not being paid. Now they are complaining. I see that's the beginning of the problem. So this is what I'm saying. Don't ever be confused. We must always see what will happen for this country. Oppression don't always exist. We have done nothing about it. We want to remove ourselves. The one way they consign us, now we won't remove. Why we leave people where they are? Leave them in their suffering. Leave them in their penury, in their brutality. So far, we get one government. We if they pay us salary on time. We if they do road. We if they do, they, everybody is fine. Country don't good be that. They don't care. Say public hospitals don't work. They don't care that public schools don't work. They don't care about these things. They don't care. They don't care that pensioners are not being paid. They don't care that children are dying in their millions in this country every year from hunger. Children are dying in Nigeria from hunger. They don't care. They only give beggars 20 naira for streets. They, they, they've done their own be that. You want to leave those things in place? Yes. But me, I'm talking about complete overhaul. And again, for those people who say we don't give solutions, that we won't prefer any solutions. It is mischievous. It is mischievous because all we do is prefer solutions. All we do about in well, all, all we do in, in our organization is prefer solutions. So if you want to know our solutions, uh, if you want to know our solutions, go to mop.org.ng. Mop.org dot ng go and look at the things we are doing there we have been working for over two three years me and thousands of nigerians like you me and thousands of nigerians like you but only maybe hundred of us actually doing the work all over the country right now you understand but we would need more numbers as we move forward you know that's that's a fact but maybe a hundred of us but we are, we are becoming a big group and people are seeing and understanding where we need to go as a people in this country. This not be young people thing, not be old people thing. It's a people thing. This not be man thing, not be woman thing. It's a people thing. It is our thing. You understand? I'm not talking about it. You look. You, now this is a this is a Messiah syndrome. Do your Messiah politics. When you finish your Messiah politics, we discuss liberation politics. You are distracted. No problem. Do your thing. But please, no feel any of them get the right to take away my right to criticize anybody. I can criticize. If he if I talk, if now if he vex the candidate too much, make his spokesperson respond. What we are doing is we are, we are we are fracturing our fraternity as brothers in this country when we fight ourselves over politicians who will never fight for us. You fight yourself over a politician that will never fight for you. Never, we never fight his own fellow politician on your behalf. Never. But you want to fight the people, you want to bomb bridges, you want to act tough. Not in this side. Not on this side. If you don't like what I've said, call it out for a debate. Don't call insult. If your candidate feel I've insulted him, let his spokesperson. That's how you participate in politics in a civilized way. Stop behaving like Trump supporters. You know, and some of you do behave like Trump supporters because I asked one Obi supporter. I said, dude, just like I told Shoure, we cannot install president alone. We need a movement that will take the Senate from these people at least. State assemblies. Some states. Look at APC in 2015. Did APC bring only Buhari? Watch how your oppressors are moving. You are not doing any meeting. You are not organizing yourselves. Your oppressors are constantly meeting, constantly organizing. These men don't sleep. They don't sleep. 
If you know any big politician, call him at 2 a.m. Call him at 3 a.m. You answer his phone. He's wide awake. They don't sleep. They are meeting constantly. You are not doing anything. You are going online. I think you are doing anything. But look at APC in 2015. How did they come in? Did they come in with only Buhari? No. They came in clean sweep. They had majority in the Senate. Majority in the... Uh, uh, no, they had majority in the Senate, but they didn't have majority in the House. But they had large numbers. They took the states. They had majority governors in Nigeria. And still yet, for the first four years of Buhari's uh, 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 presidency, what was he busy doing? Fighting with the uh, senators and assembly. That was in his own party, oh, but they came from PDP. But they were in his own party, and they were still sabotaging him. So talk more of somebody that come from nowhere. Talk more of somebody that come from nowhere. Whoa! If they don't impeach you, call me bastard. Now impeach. Now impeach go end down. Now, uh, whoa! If they don't impeach... In fact, when they finish with that president, never again will Nigerians try to put uh, any, any, any president outside of them. In, whoa, when they finish with that guy, <coughs> when they finish with him, when I ask this supporter, so what will you do about these senators when they start to sabotage? When they start to do what they usually do? He said, we will just, uh, P.O. Uh, PO we just close down the Senate. I say, yeah, pa. Dictatorship. <laughs> so I understood him because I engaged one on Facebook. This was months ago when Peter B said he will not go after past looters. And I said, how can you say that you will not go after the crime that has destroyed this country? Every crime that has destroyed Nigeria today is, will be in his past. There's no way Nigeria can develop based on what is in front if we don't take what we have left behind. Where will we see the money to build the schools we need to build? Where will we see the money? So we're going to be borrowing more money to borrow on top of what is on the ground? When we can just take from the people that have stolen the one that they are supposed to use to do it in the first place? Now you will tell me how they talk, oh, they came for me. That me fool. Well, it should be talk that he will go after them now and then. I see. So why must he say he will not go after them? If he doesn't have to say he will go after them, then he doesn't have to say he will not go after them. He should just keep quiet on the issue. Why must he come out to say he will not go after them? If you know he's, he's trying to go after them in secret, then just be quiet. You know, uh, So if it's that kind of thing, you just keep it. That's the political move. But I understand there's a lot of political naivety. That's why somebody will make such political statement and you will defend it. So obviously, he's not the enemy of the people that have made us this way. That's my point. He's not their enemy. The only enemy that they have in this election that me I know is Shuwure. And also many other candidates. This is what I don't understand about us in this country. Also. You say you want change. You say you want things to be different. Can't you just erase anybody? That has, there are so many candidates. That have not been involved in the way this country has been destroyed. They have not taught anything. That They have not signed agreement with any godfather. That if we support them, we can hold their hand. We will be, now we go be their godfather. They have nobody. We will be their godfather because we now we go put them there. No, over 10, 11 candidates are running this election. Enough candidates. No, now those ones go go now we go to our head. Put. We call they lie to ourselves. They call they say me I'm a tribalist and now say that me I'm a tribalist. <laughs> People that are choosing candidate based on tribe and now say that me say I'm a tribalist. If they born in our, instead of they are tribalist. Leave these three people alone. Face the other young people. The new people. Can you vote for the new people? What's wrong with you Nigerians? Don't only vote for them in presidency. Come out during uh, Senate elections and vote them into vote their party. Change the whole look of the elect of the fucking country. Remove all these people. What are they doing for you? You say they have experience. Which is experience to, of suffering? Experience that is soft, that's making you suffer. What experience? They have experience. experience of what? Where is the experience? Since 1960, name one problem these people have solved. I'll wait. Name one problem 
that the rich people of this country have solved, that they've been ruling us, because it's the rich people of this country that have been ruling us in 1960. Name one problem they have experience. Name one problem they've solved. Have they solved light? Have they solved light? Have they solved water? Hmm? They've not solved nothing. You don't want me to be blindly supporting them. No, you're the one that has issues. You're the one that is a tribalist. You are the bigots. Because you're not looking at anything other than my tribe, my tribe. Finish. That's what they're selling to all of you. Up and down. Tribe, tribe, tribe. And that's what you're trying to sell. These guys that's change. You want us to change the tribe ruling, not the system. I understand. Okay, now I get it. I get the change you want. You want us to change the tribe or the ethnic group that is ruling. I get it. I don't get it. The, I just, epiphany, it just came to me. The change we are talking about is a change of tribe. We have tried Yoruba. We have tried Hausa. We have tried um, South South. We have tried South South. You don't go well at all. That would, okay. So now it's time for South East. It's change of tribe you are looking for. Well, me, I'm talking about a change of system. So maybe that's why we are in a different... Uh, I now understand. Okay, okay. So I'm big enough to apologize. At this point, I apologize. I apologize to everybody because we are discussing different things. You all are discussing a change of tribe in government. I'm talking about a change of the system. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Fine. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are definitely in different, in different ball zones. And also, people that ask other people, who do you want to vote for? Who should... Why, why, why do you do that? Why should my opinion, if you are truly informed, I've, I don't tell people, your vote is not your power. That's a lie. Your only power is your knowledge. The only power you have is your information. Information is the only power. Hmm? Information is the power. That's why we must discuss, we must talk. There's no such thing as talking too much. Do you know what, do you know the, the do you know that to be a general in the American army, the most advanced military machine in the world, it's not, you, you don't have to be the best shooter. You don't have to, be, but you must be a published author. To be a general in the American army, you must be a published author. What does that mean? It means that even in warfare, analysis and critical thought, analysis and critical thought comes first. Even to say that fight, we won't fight, blow to blow. Is the person with the best analysis and critical thought now will win. It's not the person that just threw the blow. That's what that tells you. So without being knowledgeable, without knowing you be mugu, you can never make the right choice. Because if you are sure you are making the right choice, why do you need people to support your choice? Why? You'll be confident that your choice is right. You don't need anybody to endorse your choice. If you have done your own homework, but instead you want to be fighting online, be imposing your choice in blah blah blah, thinking you but it can't happen. It can't happen. Just go to everything, do your thing, don't do your own thing, don't let anybody confuse you. You know what I'm saying? So, and now there are other groups that say show is doing this for Tinubu. Turn that fire on her. And the Tinubu na the call together. Turn that and go fire all of now. Because you people are the worst of everybody else. Because you are the worst in trying to twist what I'm saying. Many of them say Shoude is my favorite candidate. He did not say Shoude say you should vote for Shoude. I'm saying vote for new people. Vote for new parties in the Senate. Vote for new party in Lagos. You people, Songo Olu and Tinubu and Buhari, key people in two gates. You are still going to vote for Songo Olu as governor of Lagos, aren't you? Answers, 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 answers. So, who will win second time? Won't he win second time? I be with your Peter or B of Lagos. Who is the Peter or B of Lagos? Don't we need the Peter or B of Lagos? Lagos doesn't need change. The assembly in Lagos, full of Tinubu's area boys, they are just ratify and sign any money out. You're going to leave them there? That did not impeach the governor that. Allow for the massacre to happen in Lekito Gate. They're going to remain there.
They're going to remain there. You are tribalists. You are the tribalists. You people don't care about this country. You are the tribalists. You are the tribalists. You are the tribalists. Case closed. 100%. So that was, my, that was my life for this morning. Please, even I, that I'm talking, I don't have, don't let anybody influence what you want to do on election day. What I'm saying to Nigerian people, we have work to do. Not be this voting. The knowledge is your power. I've not even decided to vote yet. Yet one call. I've not decided. Yet one call. Because it's not by force. It's not by force. I'm not inspired. I'm not inspired by anything I'm seeing. Here to Wanko. Man, you guys, man, come on. Do your thing. Don't let don't come and impose yourself on anybody. You don't have the power, you don't have the class, you're online. You're not on ground. So say I never get to say I love the thing. Now we gotta outside my house. So say I gotta outside my house now. Eh hey. Eh hey. I know that this is serious. Now just do online every time they do anyhow. They will do online the rant. Tell you somebody do online the rant. It's the problem. You know, they are just madness everywhere. Madness. That's right. Madness. So yeah. You all have a good day. You all have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Vote who you like. But please, those of you interested in change for this country. You know, let me just wait. Let me type my, let me type this website for you people one more time. You know, dot org dot ng. I want you to not let them distract you and think that they've given you anything by this election. You understand? We still have work to do. We have serious organizational work to do. We have work to do to infiltrate the, the system through our people all over this country. We, we, the professionals, those of us that have been able to achieve some comfort within oppression, we must take our time and resources and build bridges to our people. Those that have been suppressed and oppressed, you know, that have been cut off from the air of life, that are trapped in the in, 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 in antiquity it's our duty to bring them to the present to elevate their consciousness so that together we can build the nation that we deserve you understand together we can build the nation that we truly deserve none of these people can do it that we are making noise about none not atiku not tinubu not obi until we the people we Thank you very much.